This video will attempt to answer the question, how much Textus Receptus is in the Gideon's English Standard Version? Another way to put the question is, how often does the Gideon's English Standard Version Bible adjust the ESV to agree with the Textus Receptus, or TR? Here's our table of contents. We'll begin with a short background, then I'll talk about the three big passages many other examples, uh, maybe 60 or so of them, and then we'll finish with a summary. Here's the background. Uh, the English Standard Version is a crossway publication, and it is a revision of the Revised Standard Version of 1971. It generally does not follow the TR. Um, in around 2013, Crossway licensed the Gideons, to include certain alternative readings based on the Textus Receptus for exclusive free distribution of the Gideon's edition. Uh, the Textus Receptus is any of a number of editions of the Greek New Testament, uh, beginning in 1516 with Erasmus's edition, as late as the 1890s with Scrivener's edition. You'll see in this video that the King James Version Bible used as a substitute for the Textus Receptus. Um, the next bullet tells you what the Gideons are. It's an association of Christian business and professional men and their wives dedicated to telling people about Jesus. A viewer requested that I make a video to examine the Gideons ESV, so that's what this is. Here's an example of the format. This is what you'll see over and over again in this video. At the top, you'll see the passage. On the left will be the King James Version, quotation from the King James Version, New Testament. In the center, to ease comparison with the KJV on the left and the ESV on the right, is the Gideon's ESV. I'll highlight passages, uh, the portion of the passage that's of interest in blue or red. On the right-hand side of the chart will be the 2016 English Standard Version. So let's move on to the big three. Now, what do I mean by the big three? Well, the first of the big three is the longer ending of Mark. As you see on the right, the 2016 English Standard Version includes a note before this passage saying some of the earliest manuscripts do not include it, and it places it in double brackets. And then the passage itself is included in a lengthy footnote. The um, King James Version includes it, and the Gideon's ESV includes it as well, although it omits the Amen at the end. Next of the big three is the Pericope Adultery, or the story of the woman taken in adultery. And here again, the 2016 ESV on the right excludes it by putting it in double bars and including a, a note uh, before the passage saying it's probably not original. King James Version includes it, and here again the Gideon's ESV agrees with the King James Version. Finally, the Three Witnesses passage in 1 John 5, 7 through 8. Here, the Gideon's ESV reads in a way that's identical to the 2016 ESV. So for some reason unknown to me, the Gideon's decided to leave out the Three Witnesses passage in their edition. Okay, we move now to other passages. This will be a lengthy se section of the video, but I'll attempt to move quickly. Uh, the first passage is Matthew 6.13. This is the end of the Lord's Prayer, which in the King James Version includes, For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Gideon's ESV here follows the Texas Receptus. It has a similar ending. The 2016 ESV does not. In Matthew 6.18, the Texas Receptus ends the verse with the word openly. Uh, Thy Father shall reward thee openly. Openly is absent in the Gideon's ESV, which follows the 2016 ESV. In Matthew 9.13, I am come not to call the righteous but sinners to repentance. The TR includes to repentance. The Gideon's ESV does not in agreement with the 2016 ESV. Matthew 11:19, but wisdom is justified of her children, is the TR reading. The Gideon's ESV and the 2016 ESV has wisdom being justified by her deeds. 
In Matthew 12, 24, this fellow doth not cast out devils, but by Beelzebub, is what the TR reads. The Gideon's ESV and the 2016 ESV agree that that should be Beelzebul, not Beelzebub. In Matthew 17, 21, the Gideon's ESV does follow the TR, but this kind never comes out except by prayer and fasting, a section that the 2016 ESV relegates to a footnote. In Matthew 18.11, the Gideon's ESV includes, For the Son of Man came to save the lost, which is relegated by the 2016 ESV to a footnote. In Matthew 19.17, there's a, couple, a few distinctions here. The King James Version has, Why callest thou me good? The ESV and the 2013 Gideon's ESV have, Why do you ask me about what is good? Uh, then um, the King James Version says, There is none good but one, that is God. Whereas the ESVs, both Gideon's and 2016, have, There is only one who is good. In Matthew 2016, the King James Version ends the verse with, For many be called, but few chosen. The Gideon's ESV uh, ignores that TR reading in agreement with the 2016 ESV. In Matthew 27, 35, the King James Version ends the verse with, That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophets, they parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture they did cast lots, or did they cast lots? The um, ESV editions, both Gideon's and 2016, omit that portion. In Mark 7, 8, the King James Version includes a line about washing of pots and cups and many other such like things, uh, which is absent from the Gideon's ESV and the 2016 ESV. So here again, the Gideon's ESV does not follow the TR. In Mark 7, 15 through 16, Gideon's ESV does follow in the TR in adding, if anyone has ears to hear, let him hear at the end of the verse verse 16. That portion of the passage is relegated by the ESV to a footnote. In Mark 9, 45 through 46, the Gideon's ESV follows the TR in one aspect and ignores it in the other. It does add, where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched, which the ESV places in a footnote, but it does not include the portion of the passage that reads, into the fire that never shall be quenched which the King James Version includes. Mark 11.3 really changes the, the sense of the verse. Um, the King James Version says, The Lord hath need of him, and straightway he, that is the person who has the cult, will send him hither. If you read the passage in context, you'll see that Jesus is telling his disciples to say to the person who has the cult, The Lord has need of him. And straightway he, the cult owner, will send him hither. But the Gideon's ESV and the 2016 ESV have it to read that the Lord has need of it and will send it back here immediately. That is, that the Lord will send the cult back immediately to the cult's owner. In Mark 11:8, this is a difference in where the branches are being cut off from trees in the TR or from fields. The uh, TR also mentions the way, which the 2013 Gideon's ESV and the 2016 ESV do not. In Mark 11, 24, uh, there's a difference in tense. The Gideon's ESV and the 2016 ESV both have uh, received in the past tense, believe that you have received it, whereas the King James uh, Version is present tense, believe that ye received them. Mark uh, 15, 39 and this is a passage where Jesus is on the cross. When, when the centurion which stood over against him saw that he cried out and gave up the ghost, he said, truly this man was the Son of God. John Bergen makes quite a big deal about this in his revision revised. Getting his ESV does not follow the TR here. It says, uh, when the centurion saw that in this way he breathed his last, he said, truly this man was the Son of God. The ESV at least puts the TR reading in a footnote. Luke 2.14, this is a famous passage, which in the King James Version reads, Glory to God in the highest on our earth, peace, goodwill towards men. 
but the Gideon's ESV follows the ESV and uh, as among those with whom he is pleased. The DR reading is in the ESV's footnote. Luke 2.22, the King James Version, has her purification, which is a rather unique reading. It's not in the majority of manuscripts. Uh, the Gideon's ESV and the 2016 ESV do not follow the TR. They have their purification. Incidentally, this is one of those places where the TR is something of a misnomer. We're following the King James Version as the TR, but there are Texas Receptus Greek New Testaments that read there in this passage. In Luke 9, 55 through 56, we have an inclusion of TR material by the Gideon ZSB, which is relegated to a footnote in the 2016 ESV. So the material there in blue saying, uh, you did not know what manner of spirit you are of, for the Son of Man came not to destroy people's lives, but to save them, is a TR reading that Gideon ZSB does include. Luke 11, 2 through 4. You see a number of changes in red there that the Gideon's ESV does not follow. It stays loyal to the 2016 ESV. So it doesn't say our Father. It says Father. It doesn't mention the Father is in heaven. It does not add um, thy will be done as in earth, so in heaven. But at the end, it does include but deliver us from evil. It's kind of strange. Luke 17, 3, if your brother sins, the TR has against you. The Gideon's ESV and the 2016 ESV do not. In Luke 23, 38 through 39, the Gideon's ESV does not follow the TR, which adds in letters of Greek and Latin in the Hebrew to the description of the superscription. And also, the one of the, the thieves on the uh, hanging near Jesus on the cross, and the TR says, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. They have that turned into a question, Are you not the Christ? So here again, the uh, Gideon ZSV does not follow the TR. In Luke 23, 42 through 45, we have a number of changes. The TR has Lord early on, whereas the Gideon ZSV and the 2016 ESV have only Jesus. Where the TR has Jesus in verse 43, the ESVs have He. There's a slight difference between the 2013 Gideon's ESV, which capitalizes Paradise, and the 2016 ESV, which does not. That has nothing to do with our topic. In verse 44, the uh, ESV inserts Now, which is not present in the TR. And in verse 45, where the TR has The Sun Was Darkened, the ESV and the Gideon's ESV have the sun's light failed. So in general, the Gideon's ESV does not follow the TR in this passage. In Luke uh, 24, 1, TR appends and certain others with them at the end of the verse. Gideon's ESV ignores that TR edition in agreement with the 2016 ESV. In Luke 24, 12, the Gideon's ESV and the ESV do not uh, have the clothes being laid by themselves. They just have Peter seeing the linen clothes by themselves, so the word laid is missing. In John 1.18, the King James Version and the TR have the only begotten Son. The Gideon's ESV does not follow the TR reading. It agrees with the ESV and having the only God, although the ESV does put the TR reading in a footnote. In John 5, 3 through 4, the passage about the angel stirring the water, the Gideon's ESV does put the TR reading in the text. It moves it from the ESV's footnote into the text, so it does agree with the TR here. In John 6, 69, the King James Version reads, Thou art that Christ, the Son of the living God. Gideon's ESV agrees with the ESV in saying that you are the Holy One of God. The um, John 14, 4 passage, King James Version reads, And whither I go you know, and the way you know. Gideon's ESV does not follow the TR here, and you know the way to where I'm going is how it reads. But the 2016 ESV does put the TR reading in a footnote. In Acts 2.30, the King James Version has uh, the fruit of his loins according to the flesh, he would raise up Christ to sit on the throne at the end of the verse. The Gideon's ESV agrees with the ESV in saying, 
he would set one of his descendants on the throne. So raise up Christ is certainly absent from the Gideon's ESV. In Acts 2.47, Gideon's ESV has the Lord adding to their number day by day in agreement with the 2016 ESV. The King James Version and the TR have the Lord adding to the church daily, such as should be saved. So here the Gideon's ESV had an opportunity to follow the TR and did not. But in Acts 8.37, the Gideon's ESV does move the material from the ESV's footnote into the text. So you actually have a verse 8.37 in the Gideon's ESV, and it agrees with the King James Version there. In Acts 9, 5 through 6, however, uh, the Gideon's ESV has two opportunities to agree with the TR, and it does not in either instance. The King James Version has the Lord saying early in the verse, there in red. Gideon's ESV has he in agreement with the ESV, and all the material about kicking against the goads and trembling and astonished, saying, Lord, what will you have me to do? Uh, that material is absent. That's in blue on the left-hand column. In Acts 15.24, the King James Version has subverting your souls, saying ye must be circumcised and keep the law. The material in blue there on the left is absent from the Gideon's ESV, which agrees with the 2016 ESV. In Acts 15.34, however, the Gideon's ESV moves TR material from the 2016 ESV's footnote into the text so that it agrees with the King James Version. Similarly, in Acts 24.6-8, the Gideon's ESV includes this material about the captain Lysias and coming upon them with great violence and taking Paul out of their hands into the text. So here in Acts 24, 6 through 8, the Gideon's ESV does follow the TR, as it does in Acts 28, 29, where the same story applies. The material from the 2016 ESV's footnote has been moved into the Gideon ESV's text, and so it agrees with the TR here. In Romans 8.1, it also agrees with the TR. It has uh, ended the verse with, Who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not according to the flesh, but, but according to the Spirit. That material is in a footnote in the 2016 ESV. In Romans 11.6, however, the material in blue on the left, uh, but if it be of works, then it is no more grace, otherwise work is no more work, is absent from the Gideon's ESV. So there is another opportunity to follow the TR that the Gideon's ESV did not take, and instead it continues to follow the 2016 ESV. In Romans 14.6, um, the King James Version adds, And he that regardeth not the day to the Lord, he doth not regard it. And that material is absent in the Gideons and the 2016 ESVs. 1 Corinthians 6.20, the King James Version and the TR in the verse with the words, And in your spirit, which are God's, the uh, Gideon's ESV following the 2016 ESV does not include that material. In 1 Corinthians 10.28, the King James Version and TR in the verse with, For the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, which is a repetition of material elsewhere in the same passage. The Gideon's ESV and the 2016 ESV do not include that TR material. In Galatians 3.1, the King James Version reads, O foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you that ye should not obey the truth? The Gideon's ESV does not include that ye should obey the truth. It just says, who hath bewitched you, or has bewitched you. And then at the end of the verse, where the King James Version and the TR have among you, the Gideon's ESV and the 2016 ESV do not. They just say Christ, Jesus. Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified. Galatians 5.1 is decidedly different. King James Version and following the TR reads, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free. The Gideon's ESV and the 2016 ESV say, For freedom Christ has set us free. So another opportunity to follow the TR that the Gideon's ESV did not take. In Ephesians 1.18, the King James Version and the TR have the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. 
the Gideon's ESV and the 2016 ESV say, having the eyes of your hearts enlightened. In Ephesians 3, 9, we have the fellowship of the mystery in the TR and the King James Version, but in the Gideon's ESV, it's the plan of the mystery. Gideon's ESV also does not include by Jesus Christ at the end of the verse. So two opportunities to follow the TR there that the Gideon's ESV did not take. In Philippians 1, 16 through 17, the Gideon's ESV and the 2016 ESV have the verses in the opposite order to the TR. So here's another opportunity that the Gideon's ESV had to follow the TR and it did not take it. In Philippians 3.3, 3, the King James Version has which worship in God in the Spirit. The Gideon's ESV have who worship by the Spirit of God. The TR reading is included by the ESV 2016 edition in a footnote. But here is another opportunity that Gideon's ESV had to follow the TR and it did not. Philippians 3.16 the King James Version ends the verse with, Let us walk by the same rule, let us mind the same thing. That material is absent from the Gideon's ESV, which follows the 2016 ESV and says, Only let us hold true to what we have attained. Colossians 1.14, the Gideon's ESV includes the words through his blood in the passage, which are absent from the 2016 ESV, but which agree with the TR and the King James Version there on the left. That's an echo, I think, of material from Ephesians. In Colossians 2.11, the King James Version and the TR read, in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh, whereas the Gideon's ESV doesn't include of the sins, but simply reads, by putting off the body of the flesh, agreeing with the 2016 ESV. In 1 Thessalonians 1.1, 1, 1, the King James Version has this material at the end in blue, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. That material is not picked up in the Gideon's ESV, which agrees with the 2016 ESV. In 1 Timothy 2.7, the King James Version has, I speak the truth in Christ and lie not. The Gideon's ESV did not pick up in Christ, so it did not follow the TR here. Instead, it stayed loyal to the 2016 ESV. In 1 Timothy 4.10, the King James Version and TR have suffer reproach, where the Gideon's ESV and the 2016 ESV have strive, but the 2016 ESV did include suffer reproach in a footnote. In 2 Timothy 1.11, Paul says in the King James Version, uh, where uh, unto I am appointed a preacher and an apostle and a teacher of the Gentiles, but the Gideon's ESV leaves off of the Gentiles, and just says preacher and apostle and teacher in agreement with the 2016 ESV. In Hebrews 2 7, the King James Version includes, and didst set him over the works of thy hands at the end of the verse. That material was not picked up by the Gideon's ESV, which agrees with the 2016 ESV which does include the TR material in a footnote. In Hebrews 3, 6, King James Version says, Rejoicing of the hope, firm unto the end. Gideon's ESV does not include firm to the end. Uh, the 2016 ESV included that in a footnote, as you see in the bottom right. In Hebrews 4, 2, the King James Version has, Not being mixed with faith in them that heard it, but the word preached did not profit them, the word not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. The Gideon's ESV and the 2016 ESV says, because they were not united by faith with those who listened. So it's rather different. The uh, TR reading is represented there in the 2016 ESV in a footnote. In 2 Peter 3.10, the King James Version and TR have the earth and the works that are therein being burned up. The Gideon's ESV has exposed just as the 2016 ESV does. And again, the 2016 ESV provides the TR reading in a footnote. In Jude 5, the Gideon's ESV has Jesus in agreement with all the editions of the English Standard Version, all say Jesus. The TR reading there is the Lord, which is in the 2016 ESV's footnote. In Revelation 1.5, you see 
two different di differences here. Unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins, the ESV editions have loves, present tense, rather than loved, past tense, in the TR. And then the TR has washed, whereas the Gideon's ESV, following the 2016 ESV, has freed. In Revelation 5, 9, the people who are singing say, For thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God. So they are the ones being redeemed. The Gideon's ESV has, by your blood you ransomed people for God, in agreement with the 2016 ESV, in disagreement with the TR. In Revelation 12, 17 through 13, 1, this passage which spans these two chapters. The TR and the King James Version begin chapter 13 with, I stood upon the sand of the sea. The Gideon's ESV keeps that material in chapter 12 and has he stood upon the sand of the sea and is as common the 2016 ESV includes the TR reading in a footnote. In Revelation 16 5 the King James Version has thou art righteous O Lord which art and wast and shalt be following some TR editions the Gideon's ESV actually does follow some TR editions which say, just as you, O Holy One, who is and who was, that's the same reading that's in the ESV. So from our perspective of this briefing, this um, is definitely not a TR reading, even though it is reflected in several editions of the TR, because it is not the King James Version reading. In Revelation 22, finally, this is our last example the King James Version, following the TR, has the Book of Life. Gideon's ESV did not follow the TR here. It says Tree of Life, in agreement with the 2016 ESV. Okay, uh, we're ready now for some conclusions. The Gideon's ESV only sometimes follows the Textus Receptus. I've read on the internet somewhere that it does so about 50 times altogether. From what I've observed from these, these examples, we've shown that it usually does so when the ESV itself includes the TR reading in a footnote. When the TR reading is in an ESV footnote, there's a chance, a pretty, well, a fair chance that the Gideon's ESV will include that reading in the text. Sometimes, rarely, the Gideon's ESV provides a TR reading in the text without the benefit of the ESV footnote, like in Luke 11.4. As I go through these examples that we've seen here, there are 83 points of variation, the way I count them anyway. The Gideon ZSV followed the TR in 16 of those. That's about 19% of the time. So if we were to measure those agreement, you know, if we were measuring agreement on the basis of the footprint of the passages that are in agreement rather than the number of decisions, I think the rate of agreement would be somewhat higher because Mark 16, 9 through 20 and John 7, 53 through 8, 11, and also some of the other passages, which are about a verse long, they occupy considerable space. Well, with that, I'll conclude. Uh, as always, if you found this worthwhile, please like the video. And if you haven't already done so and are so inclined, I uh, encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching.